So here we consider the following exercise. We uh, study the splitting field for this polynomial and its uh, Galois group. So more precisely, we want to study the field extension of Q given by uh, fourth root of 3 and the square root of minus 1, which I denote by i. And we, we will observe that this is a splitting field for this polynomial. Q and uh, its Galois group, which I will denote by G, so the Galois group of the extension L over Q, uh, we can show that it is isomorphic to the dihedral group or dihedral group, which is the group of uh, symmetries or reflections at, and uh, rotations of a square, and the square is the one given by the roots of our polynomial f in the complex plane. So this g is isomorphic, of course, um, to the dihedral group of order 8, which is usually denoted d4, which is generated So not only abstractly isomorphic to this group, but uh, concretely, it's the D4 which is generated by the symmetries, if you want, or the rotations and reflections of the square in the complex plane C uh, having the roots of f as vertices. So this is our statement. So let me denote by alpha this uh, element here, the fourth root of 3. And that it's um, clear that f can be um, splitted as the polynomial t minus alpha, t plus alpha has alpha and minus alpha as roots, but also i alpha and minus i alpha. It's, a, it's an even polynomial, so it will have even sets of roots. So this is t minus i alpha and t plus i alpha. So in particular, obviously, uh, alpha and i alpha are in L. So uh, L is a splitting field in the sense that L, F totally splits into this, um, into this extension. Next, we represent the, the roots of f inside the complex plane as um, the vertices of this square. So let me call R, um, R the set of these roots. So let me denote the complex conjugation by sigma. So here we want to um, describe, we want to find the Galois group, so it is denoted by G, which is by definition the automorphic group of the field L, which fixes fixing the ground field Q. So this is our task. So 
To start with, we can observe that the extension L, uh, we can work it out as, for example, as I did in other videos or a similar exercise, we can work out the basis of L and find out that it is uh, an extension of degree 8 and a basis is given, for example, by these uh, powers of alpha and then i alpha, sorry, i alone, i alpha and i alpha square i alpha cube. So in particular, it's a, it's a, an extension of degree eight. So this is uh, would be a basis as a, over q as a q vector space. But in particular, so any element in the Galois group will have to so we can be defined over this basis. So it will be determined clearly by its image on the elements alpha and i. So our first remark is that any any automorphism in G uh, is determined by phi of alpha and by these two elements and phi of i. So where do we start with in order to find elements in G? Well, one way is to observe in say first observation is that um, this uh, uh, so the action of G on the roots of F has to be a transitive action because the polynomial F it is easy to to check that it is um, irreducible so this means that given two elements two roots of F we can find some element we know the existence of some element in G which sends one into the other so we can state the existence of an of a automorphism say phi in G which sends say alpha in I alpha and this is our starting point so let me repeat here the the argument is that whenever you have so if F because F is reducible over Q, over the ground field, then uh, the Galois group of L acts transitively on the roots of F. So when G on R So once we have this, we have our um, automorphism phi, and in order to determine what it is, we have to, as we said, uh, specify its image on uh, i, on the other element of the basis. So the what we can say is that, so as a second observation, if you want, is that phi of i will be either equal to i or minus i because uh, clearly a phi has to preserve uh, the roots of the polynomial t squared plus one, which are i and minus one i. So we have these two cases to analyze. In any case, we can define uh, an automorphism rho which we define as follows. We just take phi if in the case uh, phi of i is equal to i, and we take the composition of phi and the complex conjugation in, in the other case. So you see that in both cases, uh, rho acts on i as the identity in the case, first case 
and also in the second case sends i to itself so um, so you see that uh, how does rho uh, act on this uh, square with the, on the roots of uh, of f it will send uh, if you then algebraically you see that any power so any element of our basis or if let's write it like this um, then this will be i power m times rho of alpha which will be uh, i alpha also this is this element here so it acts as multiplication with i on this element in other words this rho is a rotation here about 90 degrees counterclockwise so what we see is then clearly um, this rho is an element of our Galois group that permutes the roots of f and also that the, the dihedral group d4 is generated by these two elements rho and phi so this group has to be at least contained in our Galois group g on the other hand uh, this group d4 has order 8 and we know that in general the order of uh, the Galois group of uh, such a, of an extension which is the splitting field of a polynomial is bounded by the degree of uh, the extension which as we mentioned it is quick to show that it is 8 and so by these two uh, equalities we it clearly follows that g is precisely equal to this uh, dihedral group d4